Hi, everyone. We're re reviewing the uh, fundamentals. In this segment, we're going to talk about the bridge. There's two basic kinds of bridges. The first one is the closed bridge, which is a little bit more difficult. We'll cover that one in another segment. Right now, we're going to talk about the open bridge because it's so much easier to shoot with an open bridge or to, it, or to set up a good open bridge. The key elements to any bridge is that it's be very solid on the table. Don't be in a week where it's moving around. Get it very firmly planted on the table. And you want to have this V where the Q sets with the arching your thumb to where the top of the thumb is even with the top of the knuckle and you've got a good V so it won't slip out of it. You don't want to be like this. You want to be like this. If you want to get your bridge a little bit higher, you can actually take the, your first finger and, move and set it up like this. You want that first finger, if you do it that way though, to be almost perpendicular to the shaft. You don't want to have it going like this. You want to avoid having, see the skin on my hand moving, you want to avoid that. And you do that by trying to keep the cue on bony parts. Now you want your cue to slide very easily on a bridge, so you want your shaft to be very, very smooth. There's a number of different types of shaft conditioners out there. Personally, I've always preferred this 400 or 600 black, what they call wet and dry paper. You can pick it up in any big hardware store like a Lowe's or a Home Depot or any hardware store. Carry it with you. All you got to do is just give your shaft a little rub down like that and you'll find your shaft stays extremely, extremely smooth. <clears throat> And that's very important to have a good feel, is to have the shaft moving very, very easily over your, over your hand. I also would mention, too, chalking, just so that we do cover chalking. You don't want to grind the chalk. You're putting it on on purpose, just like painting something. So it's like you're painting your tip. You rotate your tip as you put the chalk on it, and you actually see that the chalk is on the tip. So that would be proper, uh, proper chalking. Last but not least, very important, you will not be able to play well from, more, from a foot away from the ball. You want to put your, your uh, bridge in uh, six to eight inches from the cue ball. This way it gives you a much better chance to hit the cue ball very squarely and more on your intended line. 